Hey guys, today I want to talk about the absolute power shot, which is the last switch here that you unlock for the ball. It is pretty weird because if you look at the community feedback, it looks like people don't usually appreciate that skill too much because of reasons we're going to talk about later. But if you look at speedruns, it is used in pretty much every speedruns out there. So we're going to take a look at exactly how good it is and I'm going to give you my recommendations. Before we do that, we need to take a look at exactly what it does. So on paper, it's pretty simple. The absolute power shot replaces your normal power shot and adds KO and exhaust damage to it. The drawback is that it uses more stamina than the normal power shot. The animation and the damage is the exact same as the normal power shot. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at all of these three elements and we're gonna start with the increased stamina um, usage. So let's take a look at some numbers. By default, a power shot with no stamina reduction whatsoever costs 25 stamina. And an absolute power shot with no stamina reduction either costs 40 stamina, so it's a lot more. However, the difference becomes a lot more manageable once you start using the recommended stamina reduction. And that's what I was talking about in my last video, so we're gonna take Constitution 4 plus fighter and dash juice for example. And so with this recommended setup, we have a stamina reduction of about 62% and the power shot costs only 10 stamina, while the absolute power shot is 15 stamina. So the difference becomes a lot more manageable the more stamina reduction you have. We'll come back to that in a little bit, but now we're gonna talk about one of the main benefits of the absolute power shot, which is that it does KO damage. It's really hard to find out exactly how much KO damage each arrow does because the game hasn't been data mined yet. Especially since it depends on your shot pattern and your charge level. So to not misguide you in case I make a mistake, I'm just gonna say that the higher your charge level is and the better your shot pattern is, the more KO you're gonna inflict with your power shots. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because this is really straightforward. Basically, every power shot does stun damage if you land it on the head. So keep landing those power shots on the head and eventually the monster will KO, as you can see on the clip. And now I'm gonna talk about something that is a little bit less known and a little bit less straightforward, that is called the exhaust flinch. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that the absolute power shot was doing KO damage, but also exhaust damage. The reality is that it's just a simplified way of explaining things. Absolute power shot adds exhaust damage to your arrows, but the thing is about exhaust damage is that when you land it on the head, it's gonna do exhaust and stun. I want you to think about exhaust and stun as two different statuses. The first one, the stun, is what we just talked about and when you keep shooting the head, the stun damage will build up and when it reaches the threshold, the monster will just KO, so pretty straightforward. And the exhaust status works the same way, when you hit a monster, whether it's on the head or on the body, you build up the exhaust status. And like every other status in the game, once you reach the threshold, the effect of the status will occur. For the exhaust status, the effect is that the monster will flinch, and that is called an exhaust flinch. It is a special flinch and it has a specific animation. Look at this clip for example. Do you see this green drooling? This signifies that this is an exhaust flinch. A normal flinch will not have this, and if you didn't use absolute power shot, you would not have caused this flinch. So it makes it easier to flinch lock monsters. One cool thing that you can do is that when the monster is KO'd or toppled, the exhaust status will stay at the maximum level. So look at this clip for example. During the stun, the exhaust status will be maxed out and as soon as the monster is standing up, I can proc it with just one arrow. Let's look at the second clip. Again, on this clip, I KO'd Tigrex and I'm building up the exhaust status. And even though he's gonna charge right at me, I'm not scared because I know one arrow will be flinching him. So that's all about the exhaust flinch. Basically, you get more flinches, and after a KO, you get one guaranteed flinch that you can use however you want. So to conclude my thoughts about the absolute power shot, I think it is a great tool to use as a bow player. However, I only recommend it if you have a good stamina reduction set, 
so I'm thinking Constitution 4, Fighter, and Dash Use at least. And even with that, the absolute power shot will make the stamina management harder. That means that if you're already struggling with stamina management, I do recommend that you don't use absolute power shot at first and you learn how to manage your stamina better. And once you feel like you're comfortable enough, you can add the absolute power shot and, and see if you like it. But that's pretty much it for this video. Tell me what you think. Uh, and if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.